Oh, okay. There we go. This is the tutorial for the billing report. The latest, greatest version of this. Now all this stuff is totally changeable. But this at least gets you down the road a little bit. And this of course I'm building it out for pretty big trip with lots of different things, but you can you can change these headings. It's all super manageable. Damn droids. And anyhow, here we go. You're gonna type in uh, you know, event name and location, discipline, alpine, dates. Very simple, right? This is your this is your home sheet. You've got three uh, three sheets total, and I'm gonna walk you through them. And there's a lot of kind of bouncing back and forth as you do this and double checking your work and stuff. But it's uh, hopefully it makes it easy and it gets the front office everything they need. Um, so here you can see uh, last name, first name, very simple. I have it built out to a total of 34 athletes. If you have a trip that big, you can expand it, you can contract it. Um, but let's say in this particular um, uh, case we want to do um, I'm just numbering um, athletes. Let's say we want to do 10 athletes, all right? So what you'd want to do is just delete those ones, okay? Uh, this actually gives you uh, 11 athletes, but let's 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 make it a nice 10 uh, athlete number. So this this right here, um, just auto auto sums right here. So this number becomes important because this is the total number of kids on the trip, and there's a lot of math that goes into making sense of that. So and then team, of course, you can do you know alpine, what have you. Um, I like to just grab that lower right hand corner, and it, it copies super fast. Now everything in this orangey color, don't mess with it. It's uh, it's referencing some other part of the worksheet or another sheet, all right? So you don't want to mess with that. Green is go. Green is go for it. So let's start with easy stuff. Say, you know, um, I'm going get, to get rid of these just to make it less busy. So there's your, there's your trip, all right? So what you want to do, let's say it was five bucks, okay? Wax fees were five bucks for the kids. And you can kind of choose to start wherever you like. So that's pretty easy. But as we go through, then you've got, you know, your coaches list. Say, let's say, um, you know, you had a $150 per diem for the three coaches that were on the trip. Okay. Um, and on this, this sheet again, uh, name, location, date. You can see everything's sort of tallying up. Over here, this is this number. Remember that. Remember from the first sheet, it is referencing back to this number here. Okay, so you don't mess with that, and it's going to give you um, a number. Let's say for meals, um, you know, we're not going to really mess with meals, but let's say you know, lodging was 150 per coach. Also, okay, so you you know this from your credit start credit card statements, and you know the various math that you have to that you have to take. Now. Um, as you can see, that number on the coach's expense report, the total is divided by the number of kids on the trip. Okay, uh, you can adjust this number if you want to. For some reason, if some sort of extenuating circumstance arises, uh, and then it auto populates. So that there you go, 90 bucks per kid gives you a total of 900 bucks, uh, which equals that number. Okay, uh, so that's a pretty good. And you know, you could even say. Uh, you can you can drop in a miscellaneous expense if you want. Say um, you know, say coach had to buy some video equipment, what have you. It it drops into that, all right. And again, is it is uh, it's reflect in the coach's expense. So as we go over here, let's 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 you've got um, race location and date, of course. This is the van expense worksheet. This part of it right here. So let's say you had two vehicles on the trip. You traveled uh, 750 miles. Okay, green means go, and you dropped, you know, $225 in gas into the thing. This is the sum of, of your receipts. So you've got, as per our formula, one dollar one and ten cents per mile times the number of vehicles times the number of miles traveled. Uh, right. So that gets you that figure. This number again is that magic number 10 from the billing report, and that gives you your total charge for the kids in the van. Go back here, you can see it drives it. Now, um, if for some reason two kids did not um, 
travel, for example. Say they those kids drove separately. I would go back here and um, well, let's do that a little differently. We would go um, to here and we would say, you know what, this was this was only eight, okay? And then it it changes that number. You'd have to go back and erase the two that weren't in, and you're still at that 1875, which um, is, again, the total, okay? And there's the total per athlete, all right? So as we look at this, you don't, if it's blacked out, you don't need to because it's, it's, it's capturing it here, so there's your total. Um, travel, what we call travel, is going to be sum of t um, plane tickets or rental vehicles. So let's say, you know, you had... $150 charge in those in that capacity. Um, as you come back, boom, it drives through, pulls it back over to the kids, right? Uh, total lodging, let's say that you had you know, $5,000 in total lodging. That would include the coach's total lodging too. So this would just be the number that dropped up onto your, onto your credit card statement. Um, as you, um, on this one, on the, uh, the trap, on the, uh, Lodging, you can see this is a little bit more complicated. Basically, what it does is it takes that total travel number and, and subtracts the um, the the coaching portion of it, and then divides it by the total number of kids on the trip. Again, you can go through and kind of doctor this thing if a kid didn't stay with you, or or uh, there was some other um, sort of circumstance. They're only there half the time, and you want to account for it. You can go ahead and do that. But you just have to then double check your math, work the numbers, and make sure that um, the totals add up. You know, five thousand is the total of you know the four thousand five hundred fifty from the kids and the four hundred fifty from the coaches, right? Because I'm assuming it would be one bill that you're dealing with. Um, the coaching fee pulls over from from here the total, but it subtracts the lodging because you've already captured the lodging in this column here. Okay, so this is the, the coaching fee minus lodging. Race entries and lifts. Um, you know, let's say we usually do, you know, checks for that stuff. So let's say that was a thousand bucks. Again, you got a thousand bucks here. That was the total amount um, build. You go over, over to here and, um, you know, I kept these green because, um, just because it's, it's a little bit easier, but say it was, you know, Fifty dollars for for lifts and entries, right? For all the kids, and that's five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, thousand dollars total. So those, this should um, should align with this, with these two columns. Okay. Now again, waxing fees is that's pulled over from the number that you put in here. Again, if a kid doesn't use the wax or whatever, you can easily do that. And it cascades throughout the throughout the system. Um, also have a miscellaneous column. Let's say you know, again you had to um, you know for the kids. There's a miscellaneous in in the coaching in the coaching report, but there's also a miscellaneous in the trip expense. So say you you know you had 250 buck dollar charge for some special program equipment that you want to include in the billing. That drives it over 250 dollars. You go to the athlete billing report, and then it's, you know, the total divided by the total number of kids. Now, if 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 you don't want to charge a kid for this, you can erase it, um, but you would then have to redo the math to make sure that the that the total here is equal to the actual total on the credit card statement or the check cut or what have you. Um, admin fee here is being pulled over from this five percent of the net total. The net total is all of these things added up. And then the total build is what uh, the parents see, right? So there you go. You've got your coaching expense report. You've got your billing report. And then you have your summation. I also keep these ones. Like if there's refunds due to SBSCF, you can keep track of it. If there's a reimbursement here, um, that's fine. And then this one is sometimes in, in at least in the Alpine world, we, we sign kids up, pay for entries, and then they don't compete because they're injured or what have you. So this is some a place just to capture that, and the column total of all of these is going to equal um, the race entries minus the reimbursement fees. So it's a, it's an it's an accurate note. Uh, Nine thousand three hundred eighteen dollars was is the total on all of this, 
and um, it should then equal this total here. And if these two numbers line up, you know you're golden. If they don't line up, then there's some sort of mistake in the process. You've got to go back and double check your work and make sure it all works out. So um, there you have it. I hope this makes sense. I'm happy to help. Um, again, you can you can overwrite any of this stuff if you want to, but uh, it does make it, it very simple and easy and, again, easy to go back and double check your math to make sure that everything's... Um, you know, this number, which is all as a, as a summation of all the expenses um, associated, lines up with what you are billing to the kids, including this 5% admin fee. All right, there you go.